Hey everyone, Jane here, and I'm back with another crocheted square tutorial. And today we're going to learn how to make the mandala square. I'll be using a worsted weight yarn today and a five millimeter hook. So my square is going to work out to be about nine inches by nine inches, which is one of my larger ones. It starts with a circle, then it evolves into an eight sided shape or an octagon. And then we finish it by squaring it off, which makes it very useful to work in many different patterns. You can make these squares in any weight of yarn. I like to use either a DK weight or a worsted weight for my squares and using the hook size that's suggested on the yarn label is a good rule of thumb. The written pattern that I'll be referring to in this tutorial is available for free and you can find the link below to get a printable version delivered to your email. So let's get going. So for our foundation we're going to start with color A and we're going to create a slip stitch. So I just like to create a little loop and then I flip it over like a pretzel and I put my hook in and pull this loop out and there's my slip stitch. So we're going to do a chain four and then we're going to join it into a ring. So one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to go back to that first chain, insert our hook, wrap the yarn around and pull it through both loops. And that's a slip stitch to join our ring. And that's our foundation. Now for round one, we're going to continue with the same color and we're going to chain three. So one, two, three, and this counts as our first double crochet. Now we're going to work 15 more double crochet into this ring. So we're going to do this by wrapping the yarn around the hook, inserting it into the middle of this ring, wrap the yarn around again and pull through three loops on hook. And then we're going to complete our double crochet, two loops and two loops. That's your double crochet. And now we've completed one of the 15. So go ahead and do the 15 and using your chain three, it's going to count as 16 altogether. And I'll meet you back here at the end of the round. And now we're back at the end of round one. I have uh, done 14 of them plus the chain three. So I'm going to do my last double crochet into this loop, draw the yarn up, through two and through two. Now there's different ways to join, but I'm actually going to do an invisible join here. So I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to pull the loop through, grab my darning needle, put this yarn onto my darning needle, and we're going to create this nice invisible join, dropping everything here. Okay, so we want to create the invisible join. Here's our chain three, our beginning chain three. And we're going to go into the first actual stitch. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. So you're going to take this darning needle and you're going to go under the two loops of the first actual double crochet stitch. And you're going to pull the yarn through just gently. And we're going to try to imitate what a stitch looks like. So we're going to take this back around and we're going to put it in where it came out of. Just put it down through that loop and there's like a little ridge behind. You can put it through that as well and gently pull it through and you'll see it's creating an actual stitch. So make it so it looks like the other ones, the same tension. And then we'll just leave that for now. Take it off of your needle and you'll see here that it looks like the other ones. So now we have our round one with our invisible join that looks like the other stitches. So you can't really see where it is. That's nice because then there's no jog. So ready for round number two, we're going to use our white or color B and we're going to join the suggested yarn with a slip stitch in any of the double crochet of the previous round. So let's just pop our crochet hook in anywhere right here is fine. And then we're going to join with a slip stitch. So we're just going to wrap the yarn around and pull it through. That's our slip stitch. And then we're going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. Then we're going to chain one. 
So on our instructions, we have a star, and that means anything after this, we're going to start doing repeats. So after the star, we have single crochet in the next stitch, which is right here, and chain one. And then we're going to repeat from the star all the way around. So I will meet you back after you've completed all of the repeating of single crochet in next stitch and chain one, and we'll meet you back here to finish off the round. So here we are back at the end of round number two, and you can see I can't go any further. I've used the last stitch. I've done single crochet, chain one, all the way around. So now that we're at the end of that, we're going to slip stitch in first single crochet of round. So we'll take our hook, go into this first single crochet, and slip stitch to complete the round. And then I will cut my yarn. Now I don't normally do the invisible join when I have a chain stitch as my last stitch. I find uh, you can, but uh, for me it just works fine just to slip stitch to finish. So again, at the end of every round, remember to count your stitches. So I should have 16 single crochet and 16 chain one spaces. So count your stitches and make sure you have those and we'll move on to round number three. So we're going to take our next color, which is uh, color C, and we're going to join this yarn with a slip stitch in any of the chain one spaces from the previous round. So I like to move my, my motif around so that I'm not always joining in the same space and then the back of my work won't be so bulked up in one area. So let's go ahead and pick this one right here. And we're going to join with a slip stitch. Now if we look at the pattern, it jumps right into it with a bracket, which means everything in that bracket is going to be done within a certain space. So let's read the bracket is chain three, double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, into the chain one space. So all of that's going to happen in this chain one space. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then we're going to double crochet. So wrap the yarn around, put it in the same space, complete a double crochet. Then we're going to do chain two and then work two more double crochet into that same space. So quite a bit going on in this one space. So what we're doing here is actually creating we're going from a circle shape into more of a geometric shape with eight sides, I believe. So that is our bracket. Then we hit a star, skip next chain one space. So this chain one space, we're going to skip that one. Then we're going to do brackets again, two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into the next chain one space. So let's go ahead and do that. Skipping this chain one space, move to this one, and we're going to do two double crochet and then chain two and I'm going to stretch out my yarn here and two more double crochet and that's our bracket and then we're going to repeat from the star. So the star is skip next chain one space and then we work our bracket of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet into the next chain one space. We're going to repeat all the way around I will meet you back here at the end of our round to finish it off. So here we are at the end of our round. We've repeated all the way around to our last chain one space, which is right here. And our instructions ask us to join with a slip stitch in the third chain of beginning chain three or fasten off. So you have two choices here. You can do the slip stitch join where you would just go into the chain three. And I think we're just going to go ahead and do that one. Or you could do an invisible join as well. I kind of, uh, I like to do the slip stitch if I can, but I find at the beginning it really leaves a jog. So that's why I like doing the invisible at the very beginning in the first round. So we have now joined it in the third chain of our beginning and we finished the round. So again, because we're using a different color each round, I'm cutting the colors and pulling it through. So that completes round number three. And remember to count your stitches. So you can see here we went from a circle 
into an eight-sided figure with these little corners. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight sides. And if we look at what we're supposed to have, we should have 32 double crochet and eight chain two spaces. So the chain two spaces are the corners. So we have eight corners and then there's four uh, double crochet for each of those. So that's 32 double crochet. Always count your stitches. It's better to be safe than have to rip back. So we'll move on to round number four. Round four says to join our color with a slip stitch in any chain two space from previous round. Okay, so let's again move around a little bit here and let's just pick this chain two space here. Join with a slip stitch and then chain one. And again, we're jumping right into the pattern with the star and a set of brackets. So the star is uh, repeating after the star, but the brackets is going to happen within a certain space. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the chain two space. So we're going to work right into the same chain two space that we joined in. Usually when you join, you work in the same space that you join in unless the instructions tell you differently. So let's go ahead and go single crochet, chain two, and again, single crochet, that's our bracket, in the chain two space. Single crochet in the next double crochet, so right here, that double crochet that comes next, we're gonna go single crochet into that. Then we work a single crochet decrease over the next two double crochets. Sometimes you'll see this as single crochet two together over the next two stitches. Either way, what we're going to do is work a decrease over these next two stitches. So insert your hook in the first one, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the second one, pull up a loop, and then complete by wrapping the yarn around and pulling through all three loops. This is a single crochet decrease and it's worked over these two stitches. Next, we want to go single crochet in the next double crochet and we finished our star. So the star is everything that we just did and it wants us to repeat that all the way around. So basically it's gone across one of our eight sides and now we have to repeat it across each of the other sides, ending up back here just before where we started. So go ahead and work that star repeat and I will meet you back here at the end of the round. Now, before I get to the end, I want to show you when you hit the point at where you joined, if you didn't use the invisible join, it's going to look a little wonky. So I'm going to walk you through this part. You want to do a decrease here, but we have this chain three in this little join here. So it looks confusing. So what we're going to do is work in the first double crochet, bring up a loop, and then we're going to go into that same chain three that we joined in and pull up a loop and then we're going to finish our decrease. That's your single crochet decrease. And then you're going to work into the next double crochet, which looks kind of wonky because of this little loop here. It doesn't really form a normal stitch, but we can go under both loops right there and then pull up a loop and work a single crochet. There you go. That's how you work over that silly little jog where you joined from the previous round. So again, I'll meet you back at the end here. So here we are at the end of round four. And I think what I'm going to do is another invisible join here. So I really call them at the, in the, in the moment, game day decision, so to speak. <laughs> so I'm going to cut the yarn before I do the join and pull it through. This is how I do the invisible join. Put that yarn on my darning needle. It's a little bit more work than just simply doing a slip stitch join and that's why sometimes I just get lazy and do the slip stitch, but sometimes it's worth it. So here I have the single crochet chain to single crochet and I'm just going to mimic this first single crochet by going into the next, it's actually one of the chain stitches, going under both loops Pull the yarn through just gently, then bring the 
darn your needle back and go right back into that same loop. And then we're going to um, pull it through so that it imitates the stitch. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do it really close so that you can see that. I'll just pull that back out. Okay. So we're again, we're going to go, we want to imitate this stitch right here. So I'm going to go under the two loops of the stitch after it, which is actually a chain stitch. Pull the yarn through gently. And then you're going to take the darning needle and put it back in where it came out. And then we're going to pull it through and imitate a stitch. So you want the same tension as all the other stitches. There you go. That's your invisible join. You can probably hear my dogs falling down in the background. She's 16 years old and she's a little unsteady. So probably hearing some banging. Okay. So we're ready now for round number five. And again, remember to count your stitches. So round number four requires 40 single crochets and eight chain two spaces. So keep in those same eight chain two spaces, and then we're going to have 40 single crochets all the way around. So make sure you check on that to make sure you didn't miss anything. So moving on to round number five, we're going back to color A. And it's asking us to join our color A with a slip stitch in any chain two space from previous round. So again, we finished here. So let's move around a bit and join one here. So you can kind of see how on the back, see I've kind of, they're all over the place, but at least they're not all in one place. So when I go to darn them all in, then they're not all in one space. I do like to work my, my ends in as I go, but with all of these open spaces, it can get a little tricky. So sometimes I'll leave them and darn them in at the end. So for round number five, we're going to join in this chain two space and we're going to pull up our yarn with a slip stitch as we always do. And it's going to ask us to chain one that just secures it. And then we go right into our pattern with a star, single crochet in chain two space, which is the same one. So we'll go ahead and do that single crochet. Then we're going to skip the next two stitches. So the next two stitches, make sure you count them properly is this first one right here that was directly below it and this one and you're actually going to be working into the single crochet decrease stitch so in the brackets we have three double crochet chain two three double crochet into the next stitch and it's actually working into that single crochet decrease stitch so what do we want to do three double crochets so we've got a lot of stitches going into this one stitch that's two a little slack on my yarn here. Three, chain two, and three more. So we're making a nice big corner for our eight sided figure. As we move out, the corners get bigger. So this is what is in the brackets three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So now we're going to skip the next two stitches, this one and this one. And we're going to repeat from the star, which puts us back into this chain two space. So what we're actually doing here is shifting the corners are here and now we're shifting them here. So you're rotating your shape a little bit. And that is the repeat right there. So what we're going to do again is single crochet in chain two space. So we'll go to that chain two space and single crochet and then skip the next two stitches. And then we're going to work our bracket into this next stitch, which is the decrease stitch from the row below. And that whole bracket is three double crochet. So there's three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets. So that's two and that's three. And then we're going to skip the next two stitches and do the star again. So there you are. There's two of the repeats, two of the stars, and we're going to work those all the way around. And I'll meet you back here at the end of the round to complete it. And we are at the end of round number five. We're skipping these last two stitches. 
and then we join in the first single crochet of the round. So again, you can either slip stitch join or you can do the invisible join. So you'll notice I mix it up. I'm not consistent, but I have found that when you have all these open spaces, you can kind of do that. You can kind of fudge it and the slip stitching is quick and easy. So we're going to go on to round number six now. So we want color C, which is our green. And we're going to join color C with a slip stitch in any chain two space. So again, these nice big chain two spaces, and I hope you counted your stitches. I hope you counted your stitches at the end of this round. Um, let's just join in this one over here. We're going to pull up our yarn and we're going to chain one to secure it. And jumping into the pattern, we have a star. And then we're going to go right into a bracket. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the chain two space. So right here, we want to single crochet, chain two, and si oops, single crochet. So just make sure that you don't get all banged up in that one little space. Getting started sometimes can get lumpy. So that's the bracket. Single crochet in each of next three stitches. So don't miss that one right after the chain space. It gets jammed up in there and you, you just have to watch for it there. So right in here and we want to go single crochet one, single crochet two, and single crochet three. So there's three stitches. Those are the three double crochets from the previous round. Chain one. Now we're going to skip the next stitch, which is the single crochet stitch. So we're going to skip that one. And then we're going to single crochet in each of next three, which is the three double crochets again. So skip that stitch, go into the next one and work a single crochet into each one of those. And then we repeat from the star. So everything we just did here, we're going to repeat around the other eight sides of this shape. So I will meet you back here to finish off this round. So here we are at the end of round six and it wants us to join with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. And again, I'm going to do an invisible because apparently I'm unpredictable and like to mix it up. So that's fine. We'll just do another invisible one here. And again, we're going to go into, we did this one on the, on a previous round. You're going into what is the chain stitch. You're going to pull it through gently, go back in where you came out of, pull that through gently and it just imitates the stitch. So we're finished round six. So remember again, to count your stitches. Round six has 64 single crochets eight chain one spaces and eight chain two spaces. So just make sure that's what you have and we'll move on to round number seven. So round seven, we're back to color B, which is our white. We're getting quite a lot of yarn here. Let me just toss it to the side, cleaning up the workspace. There we go. So round seven says join your yarn with a slip stitch in any chain two space from the previous round. So we ended here. Let's just rotate to the next one and join it in this chain two space, these little corner dudes. So we join with a slip stitch and we're going to chain one. Now we're going to go ahead and single crochet. We've, we're at the star jumping into the pattern single crochet in chain two space. So we're going to go right in there and single crochet into that chain two space, half double crochet in each of next three stitches. So the first one is right here. So we're going to go half double crochet. So half double crochet, wrap the yarn around, insert into the stitch, pull a, a loop. So you've got three on the hook, wrap the yarn around and pull through all three. That's your half double crochet. So that's one of them. We want to do three in the next three stitches. So there's your three half double crochets. 
Now we want to do a double crochet decrease over the next two stitches, also known as a double crochet two together. So we're going to do a double, cro show, double crochet decrease over the next two stitches while skipping the chain one space in between. So there's your chain one space. We're not going to do anything with that, but we want to work into the stitches on either side of it. We're going to wrap the yarn around the hook, insert into the first stitch, pull a loop through, pull through the two of the loops on the hook, but leave the last two. Then we're going to wrap the yarn around again, skip this chain one space and go into the next stitch. So you want to go into this stitch, wrap the yarn around and pull up a loop. You now have four loops on the hook. You're going to wrap the yarn around, pull through two. Now you have three loops on the hook. You're going to wrap the yarn around and pull through all three of them. And that is your double crochet decrease over these two stitches, missing the chain one space in between. So moving on, we're not finished our star yet. Next, we're going to half double crochet in each of next three stitches. So these next three stitches each get a half double crochet. And this is our third one. And then we single crochet in the chain two space and then repeat from star. So that's our star right there from here to here is what we're going to repeat around. So what we're doing here is basically leveling it off. So we're straightening out the eight sides because right now we have these little dips and we're straightening it out. So we're turning it into a stop sign basically. So that is one of our stars. It asks us to repeat a round and I'll meet you back at the end of round seven after you've completed this repeat back to here. And here we are at the end of round seven and I'm going to do an invisible join up here but I do want to mention just make sure you count your stitches here. Very important because we're actually starting to square off our motif. And in this particular repeat, it can get confusing because it asks you to single crochet in the chain two space at the beginning of the repeat at the front of the star and at the end of the star. So you're actually working two single crochets into that chain two space, one at the beginning of the repeat and then one as the repeat starts up again. So just make sure that you have the right number of stitches for the round number seven. 48 half double crochets, eight of the double crochet two together decreases, and 16 single crochets. So I'm just going to work an invisible join to finish off, but we're just going to imitate that first single crochet. So you're going to go right over top of it. So you go into the next stitch, which is the half double crochet, insert your hook or insert your needle, bring it back around and imitate that first single crochet. So there we have it, our invisible join. So we're going to move on to round number eight and as you can see here round number eight is just this blue that's going to go all the way around and frame the white before we start doing our squaring off. So round number eight says join color A with a slip stitch in first single crochet of previous round. So all the other rounds said join in any such such like a chain space or whatever. This one's being specific. It wants you to join the yarn with a slip stitch in the first single crochet of the previous round. So let's go back and that first single crochet is actually the one that I created the invisible join over top of. So what we're going to do is go right into our invisible join. And we're going to pull up a slip stitch and we're going to go ahead with round eight. So chain one, single crochet in that same stitch, and then single crochet in each of, ne of the next eight stitches. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So then we're going to chain one and we have a star. 
Here's where the repeat begins. Single crochet in each of next nine stitches and then chain one. So we're going to go ahead, chain one, but we're not skipping any stitches. We're going to go right into the next stitch. That's our first one. And we're going to work nine all the way across. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then chain one. And again, so we've actually done it twice now. So that, that's our repeat right there. Again, one of the eight sides. So continue that. That one's a nice simple round all the way around until you get back up to the end. And I'll meet you here to complete the round. We've done our chain one and I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round. Oops. And everything falls off the hook. There we go. Just slip stitch, cut my yarn. So this is round number eight. We're finished. We are doing round nine and 10 next, and they will be in my nice beige color here, which is uh, color D. And you'll see what we're doing now is we're going to square it off. So this is going to take an octagon and turn it into a square. So grab color D and let's do this. So round nine, join color D with a slip stitch in first single crochet of previous round, just like we did in the round before. So now we want to go back and go into that first single crochet. So it's where we joined our yarn and we're going to pull up a loop and we're going to go ahead and chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. Then we're going to single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. So one, two, three, four, some more slack here with my yarn, five, six, seven, and eight. That should bring us to the next chain one space. Here we skip. Now we're starting the star. So we're starting our repeat. Skip the next chain one space, half double crochet in the next stitch. So remember, wrap your yarn around once, skip that chain one space, go into the next stitch and complete your half double crochet. Double crochet in each of next two stitches. So we do one double crochet and then in the next stitch, another double crochet. So we're trying to square off here. So we are now at treble in next stitch. So treble we haven't done yet. So treble is wrap twice around the hook, go into the next stitch, wrap the yarn around, pull through, then go two, two, and two. And there's your treble. Now we're at a set of brackets. So the brackets are two trebles, chain two, and two trebles into the next stitch. So here is where we're creating our corner for our square. So we're going to do two trebles. So we got those wrapping it twice around and two, two, twos, another treble, and then chain two, and then two more trebles in the same stitch. So quite a bit going on into this stitch. And that's our corner. Moving on, we're going to treble into the next stitch. Double crochet in each of next two stitches. And then half double crochet in the next stitch. Then we're going to skip the next chain one space. And now here's a double star, which probably means later we're going to come back to that. So just disregard it at the moment single crochet in each of next nine stitches. So skip over that chain one and work single crochets into the next nine stitches. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is nine. Now we're going to repeat from the single star 
twice more. So what we've done here, let's take a look, is we're starting to square it out. Not a perfect square yet because then we need one more row to help even that out. But basically we're doing from here to here two more times. So that'll take us around. And then we won't be completed yet. We're going to come back and I'll show you how to finish off the round. So do this two more times and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so in round number nine, we've finished the star repeat twice more. Then it asks us to work from the single star to the double star. So that's the point of the double star is you're working part of the repeat. So let's go back to the single star. We skip the chain one space. We half double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in each of next two stitches, half, oops, sorry, uh, treble in the next stitch. And then we work our brackets of two treble, chain two, two treble. Our square is getting quite large now. So there's, it's a long way around it. Okay, and now we work a uh, treble into the next stitch. Keep going till you hit that double star, right? Double crochet in each of next two stitches and half double crochet in the next stitch. Skip next chain one space and there's a double star. That's where we stop. And that's good because we've hit the end of the round. So that just double checks it for you. So now we want to slip stitch in first single crochet and do not fasten off. So we're going to go ahead and slip stitch in this first single crochet and we keep the yarn on the hook. Do not cut it. And we are getting ready now for our final round, round number 10, which is going to give us a nice squared out edge to our square. So round number 10, we continue with the same color and we chain one and single crochet in the same stitch that we joined, which was the first single crochet of the previous round. Now we want a single crochet in each of the next 12 stitches. So work your way across 12 stitches, 11 and 12. And now we want a half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Now, we, now this is where the star begins. And then half double crochet in each of next two. So half double crochet one and half double crochet in the next. Then we have brackets and all that brackets going to go into this chain two space here. So half double crochet, chain three, half double crochet into the chain two space. Then we're going to continue on half double crochet in each of next two stitches. So the trebles are pretty easy to see there. So half double crochet, and half double crochet again. Then we have a double star, which we'll use later. And then single crochet in each of next 17 stitches, which is all the way across here. And then we're gonna repeat that from the star, what we just did, twice more. I'll meet you back when you've finished the repeat and we'll finish off this round. We're almost there. We have now repeated it twice and now we're going back to the star again. It says we repeat from the single star to the double star once more. So single star, half double crochet in each of next two stitches. Then we do that bracket of half double crochet, chain three, half double crochet, half double crochet in uh, next two stitches. And that's when we hit the double star. We've done the single star to the double star once more, then single crochet in each of next four stitches. That's all we have left. So we know that's right. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to do an invisible join. So I've cut my yarn and I'm going to imitate this stitch right here. And I'm going to go in the stitch after it. 
pull the yarn up gently, insert into that stitch that I came out of, and I'm going to just make it look like the rest of them. And I'm ending with a nice invisible join. And then there's no jog in my final round. So there we have it. We have our square. We have our nice octagon shape that turns into a square. Now you may say, well, it looks kind of wonky. This is where blocking really helps. It's basically a square. And if you just gently block it out, you'll get a nice square shape. If we look at the wrong side, because I kept moving around, you'll see that the ends that need to be darned in are all in different places. So they won't create any bulk in the back of your work. So once you have given it a nice gentle block, which I pin it out on my board and I steam it, you could just gently dampen it, spritz it with some water and just leave it there to dry in the shape that you want it. I pin it out to the nine inches that it works out to. You don't want to overstretch it, but you do want to give it a nice flat look so that it's nice and soft and that makes it easier to put into your garments or your blanket. Crochet is a textural art form and you don't want to be too rigid with needing the shapes to be perfect. As always I use these squares in a variety of my patterns that are available in my shop. Each of my paid patterns include symbol chart versions and colorway options. Enjoy and I'll see you in the next tutorial.